Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in August, Microsoft made the new Copilot app more widely available, which is now part and parcel of Windows 10 and Windows 11, which can be downloaded as a standalone app from the Microsoft Store and can also be uninstalled. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, although the Copilot app can be uninstalled, as mentioned previously, it basically was a downgraded experience compared to when Copilot used to be part and parcel of the Windows 11 desktop, when you would access it from the taskbar and it would fly out here from the right hand side. And once again, it seems that Microsoft is going to be bringing another change to Copilot, where they are redesigning Copilot with a more modern, simpler um, kind of UI and user interface which uh, is going to have an updated homepage and a couple of other little uh, differences, tweaks and adjustments with a bit more of a kind of a rounded, more modern, fluent look to it. Now, this is currently on a controlled rollout. I haven't seen the new Copilot yet in my region. But if we just head over to one or two screenshots from the good folks over at Neowin, this will give us a general idea. Now, first of all, here's the updated homepage where you get these informational uh, blocks that basically guide you for different things that Copilot can do. And just to do a quick comparison quickly while I'm just thinking of it to Copilot and uh, MicrosoftCopilot.com. Um, this is the current layout. So you can see, although you still got kind of these little informational cards for want of a better word, um, things looking a little bit different. The layout, although modern, looking a little bit more legacy. So if we head back once again to the new layout, you can see things looking, I think, a, li a little bit more simpler and a little bit more modern. And yeah, at the bottom, we can see there's this kind of fluent floating text box that gives you that floating effect, that kind of 3D dimension. And although it's got the kind of revamp um, to the UR, apparently the functionality is remaining the same and unchanged. So give or take, it's more or less going to be, have the same functionality. It's just a revamped and redesigned user experience and user interface. Now, the good news is it's going to support uh, both uh, light and dark modes, which will be day and night modes, for want of a better word, which I think is great. And then it's also going to offer four distinct voices when it comes to voice commands, where we'll have uh, Meadow, Wave, Groove, and Canyon, which I think is nice. So you've got a bit of customization uh, that it will give you when it comes to tweaking and adjusting it for your own personal choice and preference. And if we just head back to the home page, yeah, you'll also see Copilot Daily which is a new feature, which will use artificial intelligence uh, to give you personalized daily updates. So that would be news from popular sources and information and so on, and most probably the weather. And you can just click on listen, and obviously that'll give you that like any assistant can do, like on your phone, as another example. Now at this stage, um, this is on a controlled rollout. I haven't seen it yet. Obviously, I'll post when I can show you this in real time. But go check out copilot.microsoft.com, which will be the online version, and see if it's available in your region if you haven't seen it already. But that's it. Another change coming to Copilot. And this is after Copilot took a bit of a backseat for quite some time. And now it seems that Microsoft now is intent to bring it up to scratch again with other kind of popular AI chatbots, and I'll keep you posted as I get the information, and especially if it does become available so I can show you um, a kind of a hands-on and a first look and glimpse. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.